for my son, uh, he has ADHD and he struggles a lot with attention in school. So uh, over the Christmas break, we got a lot of Lego. And I mean, like one box of a thousand pieces of Lego, like three or four different sets. And so there was just an overwhelming amount of Lego everywhere. Well, what's going to happen uh, if uh, like he has too much of this and he's so focused on the the Lego that he isn't able to focus on school? Uh, so we I did something called the Angel of Recycling uh, trick. I don't know if any other parent uh, does this, uh, but my son attends a Catholic school and, you know, we we, uh, we talk about the angel of death uh, that kind of bypassed uh, the, the during the Passover. And we we came up with this notion of an angel of recycling uh, who that looks goes through the house, looks through all of those pieces of Lego that you've left on the floor on tables, just in places that they're, they're not supposed to be because I, I put them in bins. So it's easy for him to find and he, he doesn't want to put them there. He just leaves everything everywhere. So I picked everything up, put them into a giant box. I wrote a ram ransom note. Uh, and it was written in, do you know, like the ransom font? They have like all the letters are look like they're like cut and pasted from magazines. Uh, it was beautiful. And it said, uh, I am the angel of recycling. Uh, I have removed all of the pieces of Lego that was not put away. And I made a deal with your parents. So the deal is as follows. One piece of if you have one day of really good focus, then you will get one scoop of Lego, one scoop of Lego. And if you have uh, one week of really good focus, then you can get some of those pieces back. So he has like a car, uh, I think it's like a Ferrari or like a race car. So he'll get one of those back if you do a whole week of really good focus. And then it, um, there was another one for one week of sharing. So if you had one week of sharing, then he could get he had these mechs. It was like a like an Iron Man mech that he received for Christmas. He can he can get that back. So it became this little game that he's got to earn back his uh, his thing. Uh, I think that these are the kinds of fun things that we have to do as parents, you know, in order to engage our kids in this time, get them to still focus on school, because I know that there are so many things happening uh, right now, like you're going back into school um, in addition to your own safety. Uh, there's also like, how do I keep them focused if they have to be remote learning right now? Like, how do I keep them focused right after Christmas, which is insane, right? Like, how, how do we do that? And so uh, my approach has been to take some of them away. Uh, some, especially the ones that aren't put away, aren't taken because then they don't really appreciate the gift anyways, right? Like how many gifts do kids get over the Christmas break? Uh, probably quite a few, right? And so they don't have the time, the attention to really appreciate all of them anyway. So put away the ones that they are not playing with right now, or they're leaving out somewhere, and give them an opportunity to earn it back in the first couple weeks of, of the year. They'll appreciate the gifts more. They'll be much more like it, the transition to focusing on school from like a couple weeks of solid playtime. And I can't imagine how much um, like screen time and movies that they, they've done as well. What I did for screen time is we, we took the iPad, we put it away. Uh, I put really strict time limits on them because there was one morning where I like I had just woken up and uh, my oldest had already like he had reached the limit, the screen time limit for YouTube kids. I was like, how is that possible? Like it is like eight, nine o'clock and you've already reached the limit. The limit was three hours. So we we decided, no, we're changing those limits. So sorry, we're, we're changing them to 45 minutes. It's going to be 45 minutes each uh, for each device. 
and there's only going to be one device. And then after that, then we actually have to go and talk to each other and we need to spend more time. I mean, we had the time off. We why not spend it as a family? And so that was my one of my big goals. Um, it, it meant that I couldn't achieve a lot of other goals that I had, you know, like for work or whatever uh, that I really wanted to achieve. But I mean, we were on vacation. I wanted to spend the time with family.